and hello world um, this is the last video I'm gonna make on this channel rebel for Jesus because I'm getting strikes and I don't want to lose my channel if I say something you know apparently using logic is misinformation so you're not allowed to use logic uh, if you talk about child sex trafficking in a bad way you're cyberbullying so anyway we have an unfair platform but that's the way it is I suppose YouTube need to keep legal so they need to keep doing what they're told to uh, where we are today it's November the 23rd to give you an idea of where we are um, today there was a news bulletin that um, people in Austria who haven't been vaccinated are going to be cordoned off by the army taken to separate places and you know if the water isn't getting pretty hot now when you're hearing stuff like that you know if you're not feeling it yet <laughs> you probably won't be feeling it if it's boiling over right so one of the things I've just wanted to do before I move over to the other channel and I'll put a link in the description it's just going to be my normal I haven't used it before but just a standard my name Stephen Hartley no sort of fancy stuff and I'll just be probably making videos when I feel I need to talk about something so what I wanted to do was have a look at Psalms 121 and then look ahead to 122 because as we've been having a look each year for the last couple of years anyway <laughs> Psalms is quite interesting and the Jehovah's Witnesses think that um, <clears throat> uh, that um, the Psalms predict the future and that Psalm number one was about the year 1901 so Psalm 121 was about 2021 and <clears throat> started getting interested in this in about sort of Psalms 118, 119, and 119 happens to be the longest chapter in the Bible. Uh, so I'm not going to read all of that, don't worry. Um, and you know, we've had all this COVID stuff, right? So interestingly, back in 2019, there was something that I find interesting was that um, they had a record number of CEOs. Um, quit. I think they've got a fancy word for it. Um, quit their jobs and some big ones too. You know, did they know something was coming? Insert clip. <laughs> uh -huh. Last but not least, Larry Page, uh, CEO Sundar Pichai, taking over that one. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see if this is part of the plan in terms of next year and how much regulation and problems these companies are going to be facing. Yep. A lot of departures and all for various reasons, mm -hmm. as you yeah. pointed out. Interesting. This is part of the plan in terms of next year and how much regulation and problems these companies are going to be facing. Yep. A lot of departures and all for various reasons, mm -hmm. as you yeah. pointed out. These companies are going to be facing. Yep. A lot of departures and all for various reasons, mm -hmm. as yeah. you pointed out. Interesting stuff. Jackie, thank you so much. Thanks. Right. So Psalms 121, I'll just read it again so we can hear what it said, it's quite short. If I lift up my eyes to the hills, where shall I find help? Help comes only from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. How could he let your foot stumble? How could he, your guardian, sleep? The guardian of Israel never slumbers, never sleeps. The Lord is your guardian, your defence at your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will guard you against all evil. He will guard you, body and soul. The Lord will guard your going and your coming, now and forevermore. So, lovely little psalm there, makes you feel good. And boy, I felt like I needed it. Um, <clears throat> and the, the sun will not strike you by day or nor the moon by night. Um, I postulized that, you know, 
it's sort of saying that, you know, that's not going to hurt you, but maybe there's something else out there which will. And this year has mostly been about them trying to jab us with a needle um, <clears throat> to get this concoction into us, whatever it is. And that's mainly all it's been about. But we've had, you know, the sun has been active in its solar flares. But, okay, November the 23rd, we've still got some time left before the end of the year. But it hasn't, um, like, totally caused us any problems at all. Even though we've had, we had a weak X flare. But anyway. Right, let's have a look at Psalm 122. I haven't read this yet. I was, you know, I wanted to wait and sort of share my initial experience with you. So this is what we got coming up next year. I rejoiced when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Now we stand within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem that is built to be a city where people come together in unity, to which the tribes resort, the tribes of the Lord, to give thanks to the Lord himself, the bounden duty of Israel, for in her are set the thrones of justice, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love your you prosper, peace be within your ramparts, and prosperity in your palaces. For the sake of these my brothers and my friends, I will say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will pray for your good. That sounds a bit scary, to be honest, even though it sounds very encouraging that encouragement makes me a bit wary so without reading it again they're not giving up on this vaccine thing it, it, it seems ludicrous and I can't believe it's even got this far but it's happening and there's enough people brainwashed to keep the momentum going even though there are large numbers of people now getting very sceptical about this. I mean, if a virus has been around for two years, who, who still hasn't been exposed to it? And if you've been exposed to it, you don't need a vaccine. Hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, check the link um, if you want to subscribe to where I will be uploading videos and how often or what, I don't know. But there we go. Okay, ciao for now.